What's up guys, it's Kelly, and today I am doing a quick little tutorial for this grayscale eye makeup I did. I wore this in a few of my recent videos, I believe my favorite gray nail polishes and my loud lacquer review, and a bunch of you guys liked it and asked to see a tutorial. It's super simple, I just use one palette. It is the ColourPop Blow and Smoke palette, and it's actually very beginner friendly. It's just employing the techniques that I showed you guys in my eyeshadow for beginners video, so let me just show you how I did it. So I'm just gonna start off with a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this super light gray and I'm gonna start to apply that. I started out doing it on the outer edge of my eye and then also my crease but then at some point I realized I probably just wanted to cover my whole eye with it. That is what I've been doing lately just because I feel like it's nicer to have like a base down. If I'm gonna be working with just one color and a monochromatic look I may as well just have the whole eye be like the same kind of base color and then work off of that. I do think that this first step is probably the most important just in terms of making sure that color is blending out into your skin because you want to make sure that it's a nice seamless transition from your skin color into your eyeshadow. So I do probably spend the most amount of time just blending that out. I'm also going to do it on the bottom. Next I'm going to take a slightly less fluffy brush but still very fluffy and I'm going to take a slightly darker gray and I'm going to work that into the outer corner of my eye and into my crease. So basically what I'm doing, like I said, it's the same technique that I showed you guys in my eyeshadow shadow for beginners video. I basically start with the lightest color and then I work into the darkest color moving out further into the edge of my eye until I have a nice like kind of gradient where the inner corner of my eye is the lightest and then the outer corner of my eye is the darkest and I feel like that's just the easiest way to do eye makeup in general. That's like my go-to way of doing it. I feel like it's super easy and it's just kind of a fun way to blend it out. I know a lot of us are stuck at home right now and I personally love blending eyeshadow so I'm just spending a lot of time just literally sitting in front of a mirror, blend an eyeshadow and seeing how it looks together. <laughs> I am very lame. I'm aware of that. So I do want to hit my lower lash line with that same color, but that brush was a little bit too fluffy. So I'm just taking a stiffer brush and just kind of working that into the lower lash line. So then I'm just going to take the black and I'm going to basically do the same thing. Just kind of work that into the outer corner and into the crease. And then I am just going to have to slowly start blending everything together. So as you can see, this is pretty much a basic look. I just used those three colors and I was able to create a gradient. Now it's just all about blending it out and making sure that it looks nice and seamless. So what I like to do is I will take the different colors that I have already done and I'll kind of just work back and forth between all of the colors that I've used so far. So right now I'm using the lightest color and then I am moving into that medium color again and I'm just kind of re-blending everything, making sure that I'm hitting all the spots that I want that color to be and then just kind of blending everything out until it looks as good as I want it to be. So if you are a person who doesn't like sparkly eyeshadow, and I'll be totally honest with you guys, I used to not be a huge fan of shimmers. I would just stop here and just call it a day, maybe reapply some of that lightest color in the inner corner. But I do now like a little bit of shimmer and I feel like it kind of elevates this look just a touch more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going, well, actually, nope, looks like I forgot that I added this part in there. Basically, again, just taking another another stiffer brush and putting that on my lower lash line because I don't want it to be too intense or blown out on the bottom. Sometimes that just exacerbates my under eye bags. So using a bit of a smaller brush. So now we're working into the shimmer. So this palette has some really beautiful foiled shades and I really love ColourPop because it's so cheap and stuff, but this is not an ad for them. We're just working with what we have. This is a quarantine. We got to do what we can right now. Basically just using my finger to apply that all over my, I guess, inner hand half of my lid is where I'm kind of concentrating everything and colors like this I find work best applied with a finger rather than applied with a brush. I just think it concentrates the color a little bit more. So I'm going to take this sort of pewter color and I'm going to use that to kind of help the transition between that shimmery light shade and my dark cream eyeshadows that are out in the corner. Is it cream or is it matte? I always forget. My gosh, it's so hard to go back and forth between makeup and nail polish. But anyway, just again, going back and kind of trying to blend everything together, make it look a little bit more seamless. I'm just kind of going back and forth with the black and then with the lighter colors until I am fully satisfied with that blend. It really just takes a long time. I feel like the majority of the time is just spent blending and going back and forth with different brushes until I am totally happy with how it looks. So now last step, I'm just going to take that white matte shade and I'm just going to apply that in my inner corner because I think that really brightens it up. So now I'm just taking the black eyeliner that I have 
have and I'm just going to tight line and this is the ColourPop Swerve eyeliner and I'm gonna link everything that I'm using in the description so you guys can see it but like I said use what you got and then I am just gonna go in with a liquid liner and I'm just going to apply a nice casual little wing across my eye and a lot of you guys ask me how I do it slash ask for a dedicated video I'm not sure that I have enough advice to do a dedicated video but as soon as I do I promise I will but honestly it's just you just gotta let the brush dictate where the liner is gonna go if that makes any sense like I, I just try not to fight it. That's all. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little bit of that pencil liner in the inner corner. Put some mascara on even though that's totally going to get covered up by these big old fake lashes. And then that is the final look. Like I said, it's super simple. Probably took me about 10 minutes to do including all of the blending. I think this is really beginner friendly. Like I said, I think anybody can do it. Now's a great time to practice doing different eyeshadow eye makeup looks because you're home. Nobody's going to see you anyway. And you can just kind of go crazy. Practice using using crazy colors, practice doing all your blending. I hope you guys all have a good day. Stay safe, stay healthy. I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye.